This is KBOI 2 News This Morning. 613 with texting, video chatting, and all sorts of apps. Technology is a big part of how we communicate. But is all of the technology good or bad for our relationships? KBOI 2's Amika Uzumi asked psychologists and professors this very question. Here's what she found out. Many of us have smartphones at an arm's reach on a regular basis to chat, text, or communicate on social media. But with so many options at our fingertips, we can easily get distracted and forget about the person sitting right next to us. We also have to take breaks from our phone when we realize we're sitting side by side and haven't spoken in like half an hour because we're both, you know, on the phone. So it does play a big role. It can be a stressor. Sometimes you want to have your partner break up with their phone so you can have a conversation. Psychologist Stephen Hill says when his clients under 30 years old come to him about issues, most of the time they are referring to conversations that happened over texting. I always have to stop and ask, do you mean talking like phone call or in person or do you mean texting? And about 70% of the time they might say texting. Though Hill thinks there are many pros about technology use in relationships, he thinks we have to be careful. You know, when people rely on texting for really uh, what normally would be a conversation, um, one of the things you can't get is emotional tone. Cynthia Campbell is an assistant professor of psychology at Boise State University. She agrees with Hill. She says modern technology has given us the ability to connect with more people than ever, but the quality of those relationships can be weak. So we can build connections with people all over the world, but those connections are missing that personal um, human element where we have body language and tone of voice and facial expressions and can really connect with people at a much deeper level than we can we can do, you know, through social media or through online communication. She says technology has helped many people date since we can connect with people we normally wouldn't be able to. But dating apps and online dating can cause a newer type of heartache. But there's also what we call ghosting, which is to break up with someone by withdrawing com communication. Uh, and that can be a really painful experience, right? So when we don't have the chance to talk to people at the end of a relationship and resolve the kinds of things that may have contributed to our relationship ending, then there's a particular emotional pain that goes with that unresolved kind of or you know, lack of information. Campbell thinks social media can help people create their identity, especially teenagers. But she says it's important to check in with ourselves to see if our technology use is hurting our relationships. We do have to stop and think, uh, is this use, you know, the way I'm using media right now, is this really benefiting my relationships or is it, you know, creating some, some slight damage or some um, distraction to my relationship? Amiko Sumi, KPOY 2 News. Both Hill and Campbell think it's important when you have something serious or emotional to discuss with someone you care about, probably talk in person with them rather than using technology.